Hello and welcome to my Fancy Lady Music Channel. I'm Sheila Mooney. Well, last week I attended the San Francisco premiere of my one of my favorite Broadway musicals, The Wiz, presented by Broadway SF in San Francisco at the Golden Gate Theater. And it was absolutely so much fun. I had a great time. Um, actually, at the front, outside of The Wiz, on premiere night, there was a lot of excitement with a New Orleans-style brass band welcoming everybody in. And I got so caught up in the energy of the crowd that I forgot that I had a Tin Man costume and aesthetic that I wanted to present. And so I had to go back home to my Tin Man costume and walk back down to the theater. It was kind of a traumatic day because that day I'd learned that five people were shot in a mass shooting in my neighborhood right by the theater. So, you know, but once I got in there, I forgot about everything because we were in Oz, you know. And it, well, the first thing that struck me was the audience reaction. Um, I went in and it was kind of uncomfortable because my seats were in the orchestra and I had to squeeze past a few people to get to my seat was in the middle. I accidentally knocked over a bottle of soda that a woman had under her seat. She said, oh, and she didn't even say she's sorry. I said, ma'am, it's not that serious. My apologies. I'll buy you another one. And she said, no, thank you. And I said, hmm, I'm not going to let anybody ruin my joy. Okay, so let me talk about this cast. Nichelle Lewis was absolutely darling in the role of Dorothy. You know my favorite Dorothy, of course, is Stephanie Mills of the original musical. And, you know, her, her solos, Be a Lion and Home, they just are iconic and they will last uh, for all time. So there's no one really that can match Stephanie on vocals when it comes to that. But I thought her performance was adorable. Her costume could have been a little more sparkly um, to match the enthusiasm of the audience. Avery Wilson was an absolutely adorable scarecrow and his dancing and his personality, he was very cute. But of course my favorite scarecrow is Michael Jackson. The Tin Man, I feel, was a little too fluid, a little too empathetic, a little too compassionate for some, for being without a heart but he loves karaoke, so that was a new fact that's brought into this new version of the musical. Now, Kyle Remar Freeman, I hope I'm saying his name correctly, absolutely ate that role of the lion. I mean, he ate as soon as he showed up on that stage. That was that energy, and he established himself as a very iconic presence that might be a pattern for future Wiz Lions to come, you know, and I forgot, to, oh, I forgot to say the Tin Man was Philip Johnson Richardson. My other cast favorite is Deborah Cox. Oh my God. Her last solo, Believe in Yourself, was just so gorgeous and so rapturous and she looked like an angel or, you know, she looked like one of those angels that you have on top of the trees at Christmas and her presence was absolutely divine and the dancing was my favorite part of the musical. Everything from ballet to hip hop to jazz to even praise dancing. So, yes. And let me just say that Wayne Brady in the role of the Wiz was absolutely wonderful. I know I had no idea that he could dance like that. His grand finale dance number segment, that was one of the highlights in this musical. I. I discovered Wayne Brady, I think, on daytime television or nighttime television. I had no idea he could either sing or dance, but Wayne Brady's presence, you know, is absolutely magical in this touring version of The Wiz. I would like to see it again, and overall I give this production a thumbs up. Its strengths were the dance numbers and... The dance numbers and the lion. I mean, like I said, this gentleman, Kyle Remar Freeman, absolutely ate this role.
The Wiz runs through February 11th at the Golden Gate Theater in San Francisco. Also, look for a feature spread on the 2020 forecast of The Wiz in the February edition of Vogue magazine. Peace out.